Well, last year with the uh, with the COVID pandemic, it was very different because for the first half, my the house that I'm in had a pretty strict no going out policy, uh, which I think definitely benefited my schoolwork. I'll say because then second semester when stuff started to open up, I definitely went out a lot more, and. I definitely suffered from it. We're here on a beautiful Tuesday evening, I guess you would say. It's Josh Peach and Ben Fader here. Ben, how are you doing? Oh, this semester, I don't go any more than two out two times per week, and I'm pretty strict about that. We have the radio show, Alani Drive, that we do. We have the sports podcast. Of course, I need to be, you know, as up to date with that as anyone else. If I have to, you know, write uh, player grades right after the game and then talk about you know, whether Brandon Peters played well or not on the radio the next day, that's really hard to do if I'm either hungover or drunk during the game because if I'm drinking, I'm not paying as much attention. So I've got to be pretty much completely sober to be able to do all my work, especially for the DI effectively. Well, for you need to want to help yourself because if you don't have the motivation to do it for yourself, no one can talk you into it. I went out because I didn't have as many responsibilities. Classes were online. I didn't have class till late in the afternoon. Once I started drinking, I feel more, I just feel more inclined to talk to people and get to know new people. And I guess I would say my confidence is boosted a little also. Green and Mario Kart is just a nice little pregame. Every four races, you drink a beer, and then the last four races, you drink two beers within that time span. So it's about five beers in, I would say, about an hour. For a man, drinking five beers puts you at the league, at a legal limit that you now you can't drive and the faster you drink it the faster you get drunk and it can lead to blackouts if you black out your body's still walking around and your brain just isn't there just feel like a crappy person uh obviously the mornings are terrible because like i said not only do you not remember a lot of what happened but uh, you feel even worse. I mean, those are the worst hangovers when you've either, you know, had to throw up or just have the worst headache in the morning. So, like I said, I've only done it a couple times, uh, and each time I definitely had some regret there. It's really difficult for people to quit drinking when they're so used to it and their body is so used to it. Because um, basically it gets to be like you can't function as a person without the alcohol. And then the more you drink, the more you need to drink to get the same amount of drunk, and it just keeps cycling. How many times does it happen where, you know, you see your buddy and you're like, hey, are you going out tonight? And they say no. You act disappointed, which makes them look like a social outcast. Bars know that, and they try and get you out. Joe's is having theme nights this semester, One Direction night, Justin Bieber night, Taylor Swift night. And if you go out enough, you get more deals. Like, you'll get, like, $1 drinks the whole night. So every single week, there's something where it's like, oh, you have well, this much school on a Monday? Doesn't matter. We have this deal. Using the excuse, oh, I'm drinking socially, is an excuse that I've used. But I think that even though I've used it a ton, it's BS. Because, at least for my friends and I, when we drink, we're drinking. It's very rare to just sit out by the fire and have one beer. It usually turns into... Uh, you know, five or ten, unfortunately. Going out only on Fridays or Saturdays compared to Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, it definitely did improve the quality of my work. It made me feel better while doing my work. I could pay better attention to cl in class, and obviously my life was just better.